Hello guys and welcome to Dark Horse FM. In today's video, we're going to be looking at set pieces and set piece routines in Football Manager 2023, particularly short routines. That's a short corner set piece routine. I am currently here with Fazli in the Vanarama National League North. And currently, I know the nickname is quite funny, the Villagers, and it's a new team and I kind of was drawn to it. And they are predicted to finish in 22nd place in the Vanarama National League North. But so far so good, we've been doing well and set pieces have been quite helpful in this game and we're currently sitting in fifth. Only six games played, but we've only managed to lose just the one game against Alfredton and that was the game where I met Tom Denton. If you've seen the previous video on how to, on let me say, dangerous forward in the lower leagues, you probably know the guy that went on to beat us three goals. You know, once we sorted that out set piece wise, knowing that he's a top player, it helped us get good results in all the other games that followed. So for this set piece routine, I'm going to go into my defensive tactic. Technically, I have all the, the exact same tactic all through: tech and balance, attacking, and defending. But I'm going to go into my defending, um, my defending tactic, and then go on to set pieces. And in the corner routines, I do have one corner setup. It's also set up to near piece, but I realized that for more often than not in this game. My players hardly get the header when it comes to the near post. So in game, I often change it to the far post or mixed crosses but for this reason i noticed that my players are not the tallest in the league and we're not the most dominant in the air so we're going to create a, sh a short corner routine for Fousley. i can go into routine number two or just create a brand new set piece routine in routine number three now if you're new to the channel remember to hit the subscribe button so you can get notified when new videos come up i'm going to go on to create a set piece routine for far post corners and also for mixed corner routine showing you how to set up your players in the right positions to get the best possible chance to win headers or to score goals from set pieces even from the knock-on effect of the loose ball and everything so what i like to do first is to go into my squad and look at my player attributes that's like the first thing because knowing where each player is going to stand knowing the capacity each player has being in the lower league most of my players are crap no offense to them but to some extent we can find our way or to, we can use that to our advantage and know what the kind of set piece routines that we can build i start with the physical attributes and then I look for who my jumpers are and then look for the players with the good jumping reach. I have Max. Max Dernley here is the highest or the player with the highest jumping reach, but that's my goalkeeper. So I know that he's going to be off the list. He's not one of the players that are going to come up for corners, except on the 90th minute or the added time in the game. And then you can bring him on, but that's rare in Football Manager. So Adam Butler is the next player here with 15% jumping reach. And he's heading, he's six foot zero by the way, but his jumping reach is quite good. So he's somebody I'm going to want to keep an eye on tom allen as well as another player i'm going to want to keep an eye on he's 27 years of age and he's six foot four but his jumping reach is quite good so he's probably a much more effective target in the air when looking at set pieces the next attribute i filter to look at is the technical attribute of most of my players and then looking at the technical attributes i can filter from corners and then see who the best corner taker is in the squad and i can see that lewis botroyd is the one player here that is good at taking or he's good at crossing he has a crossing ability as 11 but then in corners you can see that bobby johnson is 13 and then the next player that is lewis botroyd and that's nine so we don't have very we don't have a lot of corner takers in the team so after analyzing my squad and getting a fair knowledge of who my tall players are in the team and who my good crossers good set piece takers are the next thing i like to do is to move everybody out of the 18 yard box just get everybody back as many players as possible back or any many players as possible out of the penalty area because we need a blank canvas to work with and i think that's the most people i can okay now we have an empty 18 yard box so we're going to start first with the players that are going to receive the header once the short corner is taken so we have a defensive or the center half here in DCR. There's nobody assigned to that role. So I'm going to drag this guy into the near post region. We're also going to have another player lurking around in the near post. And then we're going to have another player. Particularly, I'm going to want my two fullbacks to remain and stay back. But the striker is going to be the one player that's going to be on the far post. Right now, I haven't yet considered who is going to take the corner, but it's likely going to be a central midfielder, one of the two central midfielders or the defensive midfielder. But if that changes, we'll go on to tweak that into the tactic. For proximity's sake, I'm going to assign the attacking midfielder on the right-hand side to be the player that is going to come short and receive the short corner. The, the corner taker is going to obviously play it short to the player here, and then his objective is going to be the one to cross the ball into the box with all the other tall players that are there, shifting the opposition once they were expecting a short corner. And by the way, he's also going to be dragging one of the central defenders that was supposed to mark somebody here 
to deal with him and then there's one other player that is unattended or one player that is free in the 18 yard box now my two central midfielders are going to be lurking around in the or looking outside the area those are the players that i prefer to be in these positions looking outside the area then the defensive midfielder is going to be the one player that i'm going to prefer to stay back if needed so the defensive midfielder and the two fullbacks are going to be the ones to stop the counter attacks so having three people there is enough to try and stop any opposition counter attacks that was supposed to occur now we have one player to try and deal with and that is the attacking midfielder on the left hand side his objective is going to be to mark the goalkeeper and then cause a form of disruption to not allow him come for crosses to try and claim that cross that is going to be played once the ball has been passed short so the short corner taker the player that is in the the player that is coming short for the corner is going to have an option to either swing the ball into the near post looking into the near post region or over to the far post there won't be anybody for him to pick out here so his next option aside from playing the ball into this players is going to be to pass it to a player that is lurking outside the 18 yard box and that player has the chance to take a shot at goal now i've gone into my squad and i've done a quick pick based on the players that are available and fit to go on to play the game and then we have players in their right positions now based on the quick pick that we just did and now we're going to go back into the tactic and then see where players are positioned and see if they're equipped if they're equipped to play the roles that we've actually selected for them to play in the corner set piece routine so looking at the fullbacks, they are supposed to be there, 5 foot 10, that's right. Looking at the defensive midfielder, he's 6 foot 1, I will, ideally I'm going to want him to be in the box. And then looking at, we're going to look for somebody that we can swap roles with. And then we have a 6 foot 2 central midfielder looking outside the box, that's another player that we're going to want in the penalty area to try and win headers. We have a 5 foot 11 midfielder on the right hand side and then I like him in this position because he has good long shots. So the choice now is to bring the attacking midfielder on the left hand side, pull him out to stay back if needed and then have the defensive midfielder stay in the central just to go forward and try to win those headers. Also the central or the central midfielder on the left hand side also get into the box now. Now you have after creating the set piece which you can go on to optimize it like this based on the players that are ready to play the next game. With this change I have opted to have nobody challenge the goalkeeper because i don't think there it will be necessary in this case because i have two players here therefore the short corner routine taker to choose to actually aim the ball into their positions initially that was not the plan but it looks like it works well based on what Farsley actually have as their squad in place the attacking midfielder on the left hand side has good acceleration 14 so you can help out defensively as well so that way after creating the set piece for the first time you have a way or you have a chance to look at the players that are going to start and then you can optimize the set pieces based on those players that are going to start the next game now you can go on to start your next match and see how everything turns out so if you found this video useful remember to leave a like on it and also to subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when new football manager tactic videos come out i'll catch you guys in the next video